Hi guys, uh, Sanket here. Welcome to another lecture and another tutorial on my channel. Today we'll be uh, looking at uh, some of the servers through which we can carry out mutational analysis for a sequence. So what exactly is a mutational analysis? Is uh, It's a tool in order to investigate the structure and the functional relationship between the protein. It also understands um, what is the mutation which has been taking place. It helps us to characterize the mutation for the protein. Uh, why so? In order to understand the functional role of the protein. Okay, so um, the, uh, you must be knowing there are various types of mutations. You can have missense mutations, uh, nonsense mutations, splice mutations, frame shift mutations. So it characterizes all these mutations and using uh, characterizing these mutations, it helps us to understand, as I just uh, previously said, the functional role of the protein. So how does your mutational analysis actually work? Okay, uh, initially you have what is called the sequence. Okay, uh, after you have the sequence, then we identify what are the various mutations which uh, can be present in the sequence. Now this uh, mutation identification could be done using some specific databases which are already available uh, like dbsnp which is the database for a single nucleotide polymorphism or you can carry out a high throughput bioinformatics technique called as next generation sequencing both of these techniques will help us to identify what are the mutation in the sequence after we carry after the mutations had been identified the next step is what we are going to see today that is your mutational analysis now mutational analysis can be done in four major ways first is your sequence homology approach second is a sequence structural approach third is a sequence similarity approach and fourth is your conservation based approach now uh, sequence uh, if you look at your sequence homology approach uh, it nothing but uh, helps us to um, understand what is what are the uh, significant positions uh, of the protein sequence um, uh, when it comes to the mutation okay uh, and uh, these significant po uh, positions which are there uh, are they the conserved or are they variant okay is what we can understand by a sequence homology approach sequence structural um, approach is uh, basically it uh, analyzes the sequence as well as the structure of your protein and um, um, it uses a, a tool called as nave bias okay which is a machine learning approach in order to understand this sequence similarity as the name suggests uh, it carries out um, um, sequence similarity matrix in order to understand what the mutations are and the last one is your conservation based approach so uh, conservation looks for the conserved regions which is there in the sequence so these are the four major um, approaches in order to carry out your mutational uh, analysis basically so after we carry out the mutational analysis what is the actual output we get for the sequence okay uh, we can get something what is called as tolerant or deleterious so uh, once we are going to perform so uh, when we are going to perform uh, this mutational analysis we are going to get two out that either the sequence is tolerant or the sequence is deleterious so what do you mean by a tolerant sequence or a deleterious sequence a tolerant sequence as the name suggests is, is tolerant so it's it can uh, there uh, it's a genetic alternation uh, alteration but with tiny deleterious effects now uh, deleterious actually means here also you can say it's a detriment okay so um, these mutations will not cause something major okay um, in your protein structure or in your protein function okay so that's why it's called as a tolerant mutation as opposed to that your deleterious mutation uh, nothing but it increases the uh, individuals um, it increases an individual susceptibility to form some sort of a disease so that means it is highly highly detrimental effect and uh, these all mutations what you can see in your deleterious okay this could lead to any sort of disease or any pathogenic variant okay so um, this is what actually is your mutational analysis so 
uh, in this entire tutorial what we are going to see is the servers which are there they are going to predict whether that mutation which is there in the sequence either is it tolerant or is it deleterious so four approaches so four uh, tools one is sift which is sorting intolerant from so the full form is sort, sorting intolerant from tolerant polyphene provene and fat hmm so these are the four tools uh, with which we are going to carry out mutational um, analysis the uh, links for all of these uh, tools is given in the description so you can check it from that uh, so uh, without further ado let's um, begin with the tutorial yeah so these are your uh, four uh, tools okay you have sift we have polyphene okay we have provine all right and fat hmm okay so these are the four uh, tools with which we are going to carry out mutational analysis for the sequence uh, the sequence is what i have taken this is an uh, smr um, smarca4 uh, sequence uh, you can as i told you you can get this um, uh, sequence from ncbi or uh, from any databases which is present what is important here is the mutation so this mutation i got from uh, i told you there are some uh, dbsnps or ngs with which you can get number of mutations so this is the sequence okay and for this sequence um, it has been proven that the 1036 okay so this uh, this is a huge sequence the 1000 uh, 1036 position okay um, there is methionine and it gets mutated into valine okay so I don't know what is 1036 position here but the 1036 position methionine gets converted into valine this is what the mutation after carrying out uh, ident identifying the mutation this is what has been observed now let us analyze whether this mutation what takes place uh, from methionine to valine okay um, uh, is it uh, uh, tolerant or is it deleterious using these four tools of ours so uh, let's uh, start with the first one that is SIFT okay so if you see here you click here that is the SIFT sequence which is your single uh, protein tool all right okay so here it's saying paste your protein query sequence okay and it's in the faster format so what I do is I copy it okay all right copy and I paste it here okay so this is how when I've pasted the um, protein query sequence next is enter the substitutions of uh, interest so here I can enter this that is m1036 we better type it so it's m1036 v so this is what the substitution of interest substitution here means at the 1036 position uh, my methionine is getting uh, substituted by valine now uh, we have to check so the select we'll keep this is as what by default is okay and add you, uh, your email uh, it's an optional thing then i can click on uh, submit so it's the process is going on uh, till that time what i can do is i can similarly do it for the rest okay um this is your polyphene 2 now protein no SNP and fair so your protein sequence in a faster format so I copy and I paste it here so this is my uh, protein sequence which I have pasted it in a faster format the position here if you remember is 1036 okay this is your position and what was that your methionine so here it's your methionine it is getting substituted by a valid so which is this so at 1036 position your methionine is getting substituted as valine you can um, enter the query uh, description if you want but uh, it's your choice then we can click on submit your query okay uh, this will also take some time okay it's 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 yeah. um, till that time i will uh, go ahead with the provian one okay um in Provian, if you see, there is the three options. You click on Provian Protein. Okay. So once you click on this, now paste your protein query sequence. The same thing. Okay. Just paste your protein sequence here. All right. And um, yeah, 
enter the uh, variance of interest is the same thing so m 1036v okay um, then you can click on submit okay, it's going to open here by the time this also works uh, we'll move to fat hmm so as the name suggests it is hmm so it's using a hidden mark of a model in um, and fat stands for your functional analysis so it uses hmm or hidden mark of model in order to analyze your mutations so uh, there are a lot of options which you can see here in fat hmm we will go for um, identify which are your disease causing mutations or your inherited disease so you click here that is inherited disease yeah so you have your user input and uh, which is this now um, this is a bit different okay um, what you actually do in your fat hmm is you don't enter your direct uh, sequence like in your first three cases what we did uh, what we did okay so it is a bit different uh, what we do is uh, we copy the so this must uh, this I have taken as I told you from a uniprot okay so you first copy the uniprot ID which is this okay so p5 uh, 51532 is your uniprot ID then I click on space and then I type what the substitution is okay so you understood so you type the uniprot id or your ncbi id or whatever id you have got uh, you retrieve the sequence from then you click on space and type your substitution we can keep uh, the algorithm as weighted and uh, this is ontology and then we click on submit while this gets predicted uh, you can click on the second part of the video for the results and the analysis of all the four of them Bye.